shit, that was a big one, fuck. There is. Got him. Huh. Hey, we gotta get the out of here. Yeah, we do. Hey, we gotta get out of here. Drop him, 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 drop him. Get in the car. Even see anything when we arrived last night. Yeah. Oh, let's go. Let's get some fish <laughs> for first coffee. Good morning. Good morning. How's it going? We had like some coffee up here. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Yes. Excited for the day. So excited. It's gorgeous today, and I'm sure the trout should be biting. I hope so. Yeah. Thanks for bringing me out here. It's freaking gorgeous, honestly. Yeah. It's your first time out here, right? Yeah. It's exciting. Well, I just woke up a few minutes ago. It's gorgeous out here. It feels good to be back in the Eastern Sierras. It may not look like it, but it's actually like six in the morning right now. So, I'm trying to make up some coffee, wake up a little bit more, and get after some trout. I can't wait to do some, you know, catch and cook and stuff. Oh yeah. What do you usually get out here? You got like, what, trout? Yeah, we usually get some rainbow trout and some browns if we're lucky. Uh, if we go to the higher elevations, maybe see some brook trout. But mainly, we'll just go for some bass, some carp, some bluegill, and good old rainbow trout. Let's get them on the fly, yeah? That's yeah, flies and good old power bait out here. Okay, sweet. <laughs> Morning. Coffee's done? Coffee's done. Coffee's That's coffee. what I like to hear. All right. I'm waiting for that thing. Can't wait. What another gorgeous day out here in the Sierras, you know. Um, a little windy, a little windier than I expected, but I think the forecast had a little rain for us today and it's definitely no rain in sight so it looks like good trout weather. Definitely ready to get some coffee and get this day started. It's windy out here. It's oh, gusting already. It's going to be a windy day today. Coffee's ready. That's what Wait. I like to hear. Waiting for this moment. Thank you, Arlen. Alright, so what's the plan for today? So, we got a couple options for today. I know they've been stocking trout. They stocked this week, they're stocked last week, and they stocked the week before. So it's not like there's a shortage of fish. The issue is finding them. So we can either fish, we know we got a couple of sand traps out over here, or we can even fish the local creeks, but the one toss up for this trip. This last winter has had some of the most intense snow out in these mountains I have ever seen coming up here. So all these creeks right now, all the sand traps, the lakes, they're flooded. So I have no idea if some of the spots that we normally go to, our little honey holes, are still gonna be honey holes or if they're bust or not. Yeah, I think we should uh, hit that sand trap that's just down the road right there, super close by. We've had some good luck on there with the trout. Well, as, long, as long as we get some dinner on the table. Oh yeah. So we're gonna go to the first sand trap over here. Um, it's a really cool spot. I've been coming here since I was like, I don't know, five, six, seven years old. So I've been coming here literally to this spot for almost, well, pushing about 20 years now, which makes me feel so old. Ooh, I'm kind of not liking the look of this. I wonder what they're doing. We got a bunch of construction. Can we still fish it? We'll give it a shot. but this is definitely kind of like this is what I was worried about you know all this rainfall it's not rainfall sorry all this snow melt bringing out all this flood waters out here with all this flood waters all this debris so you can see that they're definitely doing some work 
this whole place probably got wrecked by the amount of water moving through. You know, if there's fish, they'll be here. They'll be kind of in this area. So, you know, we haven't really, I haven't eaten breakfast yet. So we might as well, I'm thinking, we'll just cast out some power bait. If we get a bite, we get a bite. Very, very least, we'll get breakfast going. Growing up in Germany, I started fly fishing when I was about like six years old. Grew up right at the coast of uh, northern Germany, close to Denmark. We had some good sea trout fishing out there, and I have been pretty much fly fishing my whole life, and been making movies on and films on fly fishing as a for a living. Pretty much my whole life <laughs> evolves around fly fishing. Yeah, so um, yeah, it feels like Christmas, you know? New river, new place, new fish. Exciting. Maybe we'll also get lucky with the dry fly. Let's see. The way I'm doing it right now for streamer fishing, it's in pretty much casting down almost just like straight in a 90 degree angle and just let the fly line drift, sometimes mending it, trying to get a better drift. And then just keep the tension on the line and then slowly when it's like at a 45-ish degree angle, slowly start stripping in. Get some movement on the streamer. Oh, there's another one. Let's see if it likes the streamer. If not, we'll switch it to dry fly. I know the boys are hungry right now. Fish might not be biting, but I know the guys are hungry. Just got some breakfast going while I got poles in the water. I mean, what other, what better breakfast spot could you have right now? Right by the, right by the river, trout out there. We got bacon and eggs going on for breakfast today. I'm doing this is because we're using a bite indicator so I can see whenever I have a bite anyways right so I don't really need the tension on the line and that way you can just more naturally flow no matter where the current is faster or slower it doesn't interfere with the speed of the nymph yeah so probably what it is oh oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Thems, huh? that's cute first fish of the trip huh oh so pretty. So I'll always, before I touch them, always make the hands wet so you don't damage their skin. Yeah, so they like the nymph. It's actually the one we got two from. It's one of my favorite patterns, so. Okay, let's release it quickly, back into the water. All right, sweet. Oh, off to a good start, that was fun. <laughs> Nothing but the the, the smell of fishy hands, huh? That means you had a good day. <laughs> hey, burritos are done. Come and get it while it's hot. All right, I'm ready for burritos. <laughs> Did you get any other one apart from that one? No, that one, just that one. But yeah, the day's still early, so let's have breakfast, breakfast first, recharge, and then get some more. <laughs> Didn't do too well. Uh... By the looks of it, it doesn't look like there's any stalkers in here, so my power bait wasn't really working. I might have to switch up the rig for the next one, but I'm hungry, so let's eat. That's great, thanks. Well, cheers. <laughs> Ready to move on? Let's go. Let's get some carp, some bass. No luck with the trout, but doesn't mean we're not gonna eat tonight. random desert monsoon roll in and huge gusts of wind, big massive raindrops come through. Still tried fishing, but there's exactly not much happening in this uh, sand trap right now. So we're off to the next spot. Instead of trout, we're gonna try for some warmer water stuff. So maybe we'll get some bass or some carp, maybe some bluegill for lucky. So on to the next spot. Holy smokes, dude. Uh, little flooded? Just a little. 
I'm dumped out. I have yeah. never seen the water level this high. This is absurd. But all this was ground that you can walk on. Dude, like we usually walk here. And have to go down a good like 10 foot right. walkway. Uh, you're not swimming in here, that's for sure. You usually swimming here? Yeah. We, 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 okay, there's a pipe right there. We've literally like gone through it and swam through it. And it's fully underwater at the moment. What that was, it sounded like something big just made a splash here. Oh, both on? So the one thing about coming out here, you gotta be able to adapt. If you want food, you gotta be able to change. Like it is flooded, like flooded. But there's patches of area that we are normally dry. And there's a ton of crayfish, so. I don't mind eating crayfish, like, oh, oh, so right here off this little bed right here, oh, I see them. there's like three of them, dude. And you can see all the shells and stuff. There's one right there. There's, there's, dude, there's, they're all in these reeds. Oh, lost one. one nice. it's a soft shell it just molted nice so that's number one you feel that soft shell so there's another one right here oh there's three of them right here you see him look four of them right here Probably get two of them, and then the other one. Three. Three. <laughs> so we got four. Are these all soft four. shells? No, that one's that one's a hard shell. That one's a hard shell. Nice. And, and then throw them right here. There's some more right here. If it doesn't work with the trout or the bass or the carp, I mean those taste amazing, right? Oh, I love those. I can't remember the last time I had a good crayfish boil. Yeah, put them on a, well, how, how do you make them? You put them on a uh, barbecue or like just grow them? Or? I usually put them in a huge pot of seasoned boiling water with corn, potatoes, onions, you name it. Throw them yes. in there. Have a good old fashioned crayfish boil. and Dude, I love it. Yeah, I'm not sure what we're going to do with them today because we don't have that whole setup, but I'm sure we can figure something out. Yeah. Oh, fall in. oh yeah, he's coming up too right now. There you go, you got him. Ain't no way. Ain't no Triple. way. Double. Triple. This is a baby, baby, baby one. Oh, it's like a little shrimp. Let's get these guys out. That's a little guy. Look at this guy's going for it. See this guy. We'll eat it next year. <laughs> you see any more? That one, I guess, is too small to eat, eh? Let him, your pet. Let him live. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah, they always come back here. Literally, after a few minutes, even though we spook them like crazy, they always come back, so... Hey, we gotta get the out of here. Yeah, we do. Hey, we gotta get out of here. It's sketch, bro. Hey, get to the car, just go to the car, just go, 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 go. Bring it, hit by lightning. Okay, hey, drop him, drop him, drop the hole, drop your net. Drop him, leave him. Get in the car. Close the trunk, Troll, close the trunk, close the trunk, close the trunk. Leave him, leave him. Holy. I like some good action. <laughs> That's what adventures are all about, right? A little bit of danger, it's always good. Well, my hat was protecting most of me, but I tried covering the camera with the hat the whole time, so I got, I just took the brunt of it. Yeah, it's coming down. 
two minutes. The rain's gonna be gone. The sun's gonna be out. And we'll go back crayfish fishing. <laughs> Rain slowed down a little bit. We haven't heard thunder in a while, so coming back out and braving the lightning to catch some dinner, so. That was a big one. Got him. They're uh, probably heading out to scout those lightning strikes just in case, because those are what causes those big wildfires out here. So they're probably going to go check that out. So we're definitely in the middle of that thunderstorm right there. At least it rained. Let's do it. Let's do it, dude. Got plenty of crayfish. I'm excited for dinner. Honestly. Woo. Be cool to get a fish though. Because the one I got, I released it. It was a, you know, obviously a baby, so probably for the best. Let's go. So back at camp, we got all the soft shell, which is funny, they're soft shell crabs, right? Or the like crawfish. Crawfish yeah. is what they are, yeah. So it's my first time ever eating them or even like catching them. So a lot, lots of firsts today. Yeah. But um, so what, what else? So it's a delicacy you said, right? Yeah, um, we treat, just like you said, soft shell crab. We're gonna batter them up, deep fry them whole. So you nice. eat the everything part of it. That's awesome. It gives perfect texture. You don't have that really hard shell crunching in your mouth. All right, so to prep these up, it's really simple. Normally when they're all hard shell, you only eat the tail. Right. But with these ones, you can eat everything except for two little pieces. That's so sick. There's these little calcium deposits they have inside their head. And all you want to do is go right between the eyes and chop them out, like, just like that. Chop that part off, discard that, you don't need it. And then if you squeeze inside, you'll feel these two hard, almost rock-like things. And then just pop them out. Do what? Yeah, give those a feel. Those are like rocks. That's like the coolest thing, honestly. They're like actual rocks. Yeah. Once you have those, it's done. <laughs> ready to get battered up and fried. Damn. I want to try it too, though. Yeah, give it a try. So just like grab any, any yeah, one of any them? Or... Give it a go. Oh, that one's so fun. Just cut right behind the head, right? Like that. Just cut that off. Cut that off. And Done. If you feel inside, just squeeze around and then it'll yep. pop out. That's so sick, dude. So I prepared the veggies. So what I'm gonna do with the zucchini is I'm gonna cut them into like quarter inch kind of slices. Cut off the back part and the half first. Because that's like how I grew up, right? Like I always, even before I started fishing, I was able to swim. Because I started having like swimming lessons when I was like four. And so I was always able to swim and then us living by the ocean, I would just bring back home like um, clams, you know, like the, the clams and everything. And like my mother would prepare them and then I started fishing and I brought home fish and my mother would prepare it and everything. And then eventually when I got a little older, I started cooking it. So it's just been something that's really been engraved in my DNA pretty much. Like just gathering food and preparing it and sharing it with people. And I think it's one of the most rewarding and fulfilling things in my life, you know. So uh, moments like this are really special for me, you know, just being out here with friends and being able to give to nature, take from nature, and like just sharing food with my friends. Um, yeah, it's just something very special. So really happy to be out here and um, yeah, freaking awesome. <laughs> Deep fried, soft shell, crayfish. Kind of getting fully coated in there. Oh, oh my god, that's it looks good, eh? Yeah. Wow. Wow. That was a great idea. Especially all with the smokes right now. <laughs> that was a great idea to prepare my cow, honestly. Oh my god. Oh, here it is. <laughs> oh. Great fish. <laughs> Dude, the smell is incredible. It's insane, right? Oh man. I don't think I've ever had something this, like, proper. <laughs> <laughs> the rifle's full. Right 
Let's cheers it up. Oh, cheers. Cheers it out. Mmm. That is delicious. <laughs> this makes me not even want to go for the hard shells anymore. <laughs> Dude, what? You're always this good? Always, yeah. <laughs> this is so delicious. What a meal. Cracking it. It's like we completely set out, right? Like we got sides, we got some vegetables brought with us, but we had to get our own meat. And we for sure thought we began some kind of trail, some kind of carp, some kind of bluegill, some kind of bass, but everything was pointing that no way it was happening today. And to randomly stumble upon this delicacy. When we, when we got there, I saw this little freaking crayfish. Crayfish, right, right. And then we're like, oh, where there's more. And then we started paying attention. And boom, there were everywhere. 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 It blows my mind. It's like, like you said it. It's not even funny. That was so good. But today was a great day. Honestly, it was a perfect first day. So we're good. Yeah. I'm sure tomorrow we'll get more fish, but like once again today it's just a crayfish whole thing, like I'm still warm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can't even that's a perfect ending to a perfect day, honestly. Just yeah. sitting by the fire. There's something so special about watching a fire burn. I don't know what it is, but yeah, I can just yeah, I could do that my whole life and not get bored.